Welcome to my channel, TM Creations. In this video, you will see about the adjustable variable power supply, that I have made recently. We can use this power supply for various purposes, such as, to get the required voltage, to control the speed of the motor, to light or dim the light etc. This is the schematic diagram with real electronics parts. I have made such a diagram to make it easy to understand. This box is from a very old damaged voltage stabilizer. I have cleaned it by sandpaper. Drilled various holes as required by my project and colored it. At first I'm going to attach all four bases on it. This is an AC power inlet, it connects the box to 220 volt AC line supply. Two fuse box for safety protection for the circuits, one is for linear voltage regulator and other for manual voltage output. This is the multi voltage output transformer, which I have made from old UPS transformer. This is a heavy metal type rotary switch, I have taken it from that old stabilizer, which has 8 positions, 8 inputs, and 1 output. This is the variable voltage power supply board using the regulator LM317T and MJ2955 transistor. And rectifier circuit for manual voltage output. A 7812 regulator IC is used to power the digital volt ampere meter a digital volt ampere meter, to measure voltage and ampere. A 10 ampere switch, DC female socket and a DC banana plug. This is an attempt to show, how I am going to make it as a whole. I'm going to fit main switch, all DC plugs, digital volt ampere meter and rotary type switch. Please be patient. The box is a bit small, it should hold all the parts, so I cut one side of the voltmeter slightly for the rotary switch. This is a LED indicator for manual voltage output.
I'm going to fit the transformer here now. It is a little heavy. It needs strong nut and bolts. Now we connect the zero voltage of the secondary output of the transformer to the main switch for linear and manual supply. And 24 volt output to the rotary switch and to the linear regulator board. Now all the wires and circuit boards are connected as shown in the diagram. I have fitted the transistor in this plastic base so that it does not touch the box. It looks very complicated, but it is not difficult to fit according to the diagram. Now I'm going to check linear voltage output and manual voltage output of this device. Commonly checking with DC bulb and DC motor. Thanks to me, this box worked well.